The rebel-held areas of Sudan's Nuba Mountains have been under blockade since the start of the civil war in 2011. The uh, Sudanese government has been denying all access for food, supplies and humanitarian aid. Adam Bales visited the only hospital in the region and says deaths from preventable illnesses are on the rise. Mother of Mercy Hospital is the only medical facility in all of South Kordofan. The 80-bed hospital runs at triple its capacity. The staff is currently dealing with a large-scale measles outbreak, with more than 1,000 admissions for measles alone, and a 25 per thousand measles-related fatality rate. Nurse Maizub Hassan says many more cases are assumed to be undetected in rural villages. This is when the, the measles become serious to the, to the hospital. So, Every day we do receive almost uh, sometimes uh, 20 admission, 10 admission in a day. And it is really very, very dangerous here. But the bigger problem here, the first is the vaccine. Don't have vaccine at all. For three years, Sudan's government has refused to let humanitarian aid into rebel controlled areas. As a result, vaccine supplies were cut off, leaving the whole community here unvaccinated and thousands of children at risk of dying from otherwise preventable diseases. Nurse Hassan also checks the young children for signs of malnutrition. He says at least 40% of these children are malnourished because of poor access to food. Also when the mothers are not feeding from the road, and sometimes also caused by sickness also. But mostly it's because uh, it's a lack of food. They are not giving uh, any food which has a uh, in addition to the blockade, Sudan's government has been accused of targeting civilians, hospitals and aid convoys, destroying the little resources left in this cut-off region, though the government denies all allegations. Clinical officer Morsal Saeed says many are injured, but the hospital lacks enough supplies to treat them all. Uh, since the war started in 2011, we really we had a lot of patients of being wounded, whether being gunshot, hunting off, jet fighter. Uh, okay, if just we talk particularly in this year, this uh, 2014, probably we can meet almost about 300. 300 of this just of uh, 2014. Just outside the hospital, villagers constantly watch the skies looking for planes. Children play in foxholes. Every shopkeeper has their own dugout to hide in. Just a few weeks ago, six young children were killed in a single missile strike in a market just like this one. 11-year-old Nawal was the only survivor. Five of her brothers and sisters were killed. Nawal's mother, Nairiz Osman, says she was away when the bombs fell. When I came home, I saw my five children just dead on the floor, and my daughter here was wounded. I was confused. I didn't know what to do. I was out of my mind. I could not believe what had happened. And that day, I decided to come here and stay in Gidal. Ambulance driver Amir was one of the first people to arrive at the scene. He shows us a picture of the house after the bomb hit. I feel so bad, I don't have the power to do anything. I just pray. The Enough Project, an anti-genocide group, says Sudan's regime continues to use the denial of humanitarian aid as a weapon of war. Without open humanitarian corridors, the Nuba Mountains remains cut off from the outside world. And the region's only hospital is left struggling to cope. Adam Bales for VOA News, Dilami County, Sudan.